Welcome to another Mech 1000 video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do drawing 8 4. So, um, drawing 8 4 is the nose adapter, it's a multi view drawing. I am going to start with the right side view. So, let's go back to my home tab and uh, set this on my zero layer. And you don't need to start your drawing at the origin, but I, I tend to do that. And um, I guess I'll start with the diameter 8, 8-inch eight diameter circle. And then we also have an 11-inch diameter circle. So that's a diameter 11. Okay. Um, let's see. We also have... 6 inch diameter hole. So that's going to be a third circle with a diameter of 6. Now it looks like the threads extend an eighth of an inch beyond this hole and they're represented with a hidden line. So I'll use the offset command, and I'll offset a distance of 0.125, which is an eighth of an inch. And I'll, something went wrong, let's try that again. Offset, distance 0.125, enter, select the circle, offset it to the outside, and this outside circle will become a hidden line. Okay, so that uh, does it for the concentric circles. Um, I think maybe now I'll add the center mark to the biggest of the three holes, or, or four circles, I should say now. And let's see here. So now I need to draw one of the four holes that are... Um, at the four quadrant points of this circle. So I'm going to start um, up here at the top and it's got a quarter of an inch uh, diameter, the through hole does. So I think what I'll do is I'll draw, let's get back to my zero layer, I'll draw a line from that quadrant point to that quadrant point and I want the hole to have a quarter of an inch diameter if I offset it in both directions by an eighth of an inch, once to the right and once to the left, that gives me two parallel lines that are a quarter of an inch apart. And I'll just come down here and clean this up by extending these lines to the circle, the inner circle. And then up at the top here, I want to trim off the tops of these, so I'll use the trim command to trim off that little bit there and that little bit there. So that does it for the through hole, but there's also a half inch diameter counterbore. So these are a quarter of an inch apart, that's the quarter inch diameter. If I offset this another eighth of an inch to the right and I offset this one to the left, that will be four eighths or half an inch. So I'll just use the offset command again, same eighth inch distance, once to the right, once to the left. And its depth is 0.625. I'm going to draw a line here. Um, I'll just draw it arbitrarily long. I just want a horizontal line there that I can then move down, make sure it's straight down, uh, the 5 eighths or 0.625 inches. Okay, now I can take this line and stretch it out to the left, stretch this one back over here, and now do some trimming. So I'll use this line to trim off that line and that one, and these two lines. So now I have my counter bore and my through hole. And all of these lines should be on the hidden line layer. So let's select all these and change them to hidden lines. 
Okay, so it looks like I need to add some annotation. I'll go ahead and do that. Actually, before I do that, it looks like I need to do a little bit more trimming. Let's trim that off there. Trim that. And I think I'll do I'll do a polar array. So select the polar array. Select those hidden lines. Select the center of the circle to be the center of my polar array. I want four items in my array. And close the array. So there are my four holes at the quadrants. Um, so now I can add some annotation. Um, let's just start with the diameter. We've got the 8 inch diameter here. Now, I know this doesn't look exactly like the diameter dimension um, in the textbook, but that's okay. In fact, I would prefer to put this 8 inches to the outside like that. And this to me is a perfectly acceptable way of dimensioning the diameter of this circle. But if we really wanted to make this look like it does in a textbook, we have to modify uh, the properties of this dimension. So I can select this dimension, right click and bring up its properties. And let's see, I have to look for it here. I think it's, yes, on fit, on the fit area, dim line forced, that's currently set to off. I can switch that to on. And then I can move this dimension. And now let's see, it does, if I put it inside the circle, it doesn't show that dimension line all the way across, but it does. So that gets us a little bit closer. Okay, and the other thing we need to change if we want our dimension uh, diameter dimension to look like it does in the book is to look at, let's see, where did it go here? Also on the Fit tab, this text movement, change this to move text, no leader, and then we can move this text back inside the circle. So there we go. That now looks like the um, text dimension from the textbook. Um, let's close out of that. We also need to add um, multi-leader. There we go. Let's add a leader here. So that leader is going to point to the, the top quadrant point of the circle. Uh, whoops, wrong, wrong uh, multi-leader style. So let me go to the annotate ribbon and choose my standard style. There we go. And then I can just type in the text 0.25. Di I like this to be all caps. Diameter through C bore 0 0.50 diameter. Two. That's interesting. Was that two? I wonder. Zero point six two five deep. Four holes equal spaced as shown. I don't know what this two is for. I'm going to delete it. Okay. So that's it for the right side view. And um, I think I may stop the video here and uh, break this video into uh, two parts because I only have about five minutes remaining and I'm not sure that I can finish the left side view in that amount of time. So it makes sense to use this as a stopping point. So I'll see you in part two of this video.